Hey, Facebook friends, what's happening, peeps? Oh, what a lovely day it is here in South Louisiana where we are feeling some of the effects of tropical storms. And fortunately, we don't have too much of that happening right now. It's just rain. I think that's all. We're going to get where I am. Um, hey, Stephanie, how you doing, girl? Hey, Lacey, thanks for popping on and saying hi. Hey, Miss Gay. Hi, Ginger. Hey, Bev. All right, friends. So, um, today, with all of the rain, I know that sometimes a lot of people feel drained of energy. Um, we feel that way on a daily basis without rain. But that was just my topic and my thoughts on that today. Talking about my blog series right now that I'm doing based on energy and how to increase your energy. Um, today, I want to. We talked a couple of different um, blogs that I've already done about different ways to boost it as far as exercise, nutrition, foods, making sure that you're getting enough sleep, and different types of exercise that can help you. But today, I wanted to talk about. Um, before you go into major supplementation, because there are supplements that can help you besides just eating whole foods and getting more sleep, there are supplements that can actually help you boost your energy level. But before you go out and spend a whole bunch of money on supplements and things like that, I want to encourage you to do some baseline testing. Hey, Julie. Hey, Sheena. How y'all doing? Thanks for popping on. So, uh, baseline testing, it, it doesn't even have to be blood work with your doctor, but you want to make sure that your thyroid is functioning pretty well. Um, make sure that you are not getting, um, not having anemia, thyroid problems, um, digestive issues even. You want to make sure that your gut is well taken care of. And when I say that, I mean... Uh, make sure that your nutrition is on point and that you don't have any um, absorption issues, meaning problems in the colon as far as Crohn's disease or anything like that where you, you may be having some issues absorbing nutrients. Everybody's crazy in here. So, hey, Jason. Hey, Ginger. Thanks for popping on, y'all. So you want to make sure that before you go into nutritional supplements and things that boost energy that way, make sure that you think about your underlying causes. So you want to try exercise. You want to aim for your decent, you know, seven, eight hours of sleep a night. Um, if you have kids, obviously you may not be getting that much, but try to do some self-care. Try to make sure that you're eating whole foods rather than processed foods. And what I mean by processed foods is um, fast foods, fried foods, things that come in a package and things that you probably can look at the ingredients list, not the nutrition facts, the ingredients list. And when you look at that, if it looks like something that is um, a science experiment versus probably something that you could put together in your kitchen with some different ingredients, then you probably want to stay away from those kind of processed foods. So once you have limited things down that much to where you know it's not really an issue of sleep, I mean, some occasional tiredness, y'all. Everybody feels tired sometimes when it rains. It's a barometric issue. Sometimes you feel tired, like last night I stayed up way too late. And if you're just a mom and you're running around with kids, you might be, might be tired. Or if you wake up at 5 a.m. and you go to work all day for 14 hours, you might be tired. Um, so those are normal things. But if you have chronic fatigue where you're feeling super zapped of energy, um, drained all the time, that is something that you definitely want to look into. So today on the blog, that's what I'm going to be talking about, how to determine, maybe it's uh, low testosterone, it's not something that's just um, exclusive only to men, that can happen in women too. So, hey Brandy, my girl Brandy, hey Kasha, how y'all doing? Thanks for popping on, I appreciate y'all so much, and look for my blog that I'm going to post in the comments of this video. I hope y'all are all having a wonderful day trying to stay mainly dry um, if you're getting some effects of this tropical storm. I don't even know what it's called. Is it Tropical Storm Cindy? I think somebody said Cindy. 
So try to stay dry. We're kind of going in and out and playing with worms and crazy things on <laughs> when we get a little break from uh, being cooped up in the house. So look for the blog in the comments of this. And if you want to read back on any of the other blogs that I've done on energy and how to boost those naturally with foods and exercise, sleep, and self-care, you can check those out on my website at coachadrian.com. I also want to give a quick shout out to all of our people who did my free, um, five day sugar detox group y'all killed it people got amazing results and i appreciate your participation much more than you know and details for my new vip group are coming out and this is something you definitely want to take advantage of if you plan on continuing your healthy journey where you're eliminating added sugars processed foods and other unhealthy junk you know when you're stuck in the house you have a tendency to want to eat all kinds of yuck. Here yeah, comes Stephanie sweet said. Sweet four year old girl. Oh, it comes a sweet little Lola. Yes, they did rock that group, Stephanie. Hey, Lauren. Hey, my friend. Tell her hi. Hi. Tell them what we're doing today. We're coloring books. Coloring books. We're coloring things. Yeah. Yeah, we got some new crayons. Mm hmm. That and mommy got me at the store. Yes. We've been out. Oh, look at this. Look what you did to my hair, girl. Like, I mean, what? Jocelyn says hi. Jocelyn's mommy's on. We went to story time. Story time was fun. Miss <laughs> Gay says she thinks you're adorable. Thank you. We're so glad the black eye is gone, but yesterday she fell off her bike. Yesterday she fell off her little bike and the handlebar hit her in the cheek right here. So she's almost got another little, <laughs> poor baby. Well, a little girl, I guess, that's into everything, huh? See, I'm just into everything and busy. I'm just into everything and busy. Busy. So, you know, we get bumps and stuff, right? I'm shy. You shot. Come on, y'all. Y'all believe that kidding. one? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Y'all don't believe that this girl is shy. No way, Jose. No way, Jose, Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig? <laughs> oh my gosh, Drexel is, is watching your video. Can you say hi, Drexel? Uh, yes. Uh, Tell him we've been going to Spanish class. We're trying to learn some Spanish words. Yes. Can you tell him, hola, Lola? They get a kick out of that one. Hola, Lola. Huh. Yeah, Lola needs some bubble wrap. You know, she's like this little tiny little thing. And on my head? Huh? On my head? You have bubble wrap so you don't get bobos. You're getting so many bobos and stuff. Stop uh -huh. licking that. Chap lips. Yeah. Well, tell them we hope you're having a wonderful rainy day. Wonderful, bad, rainy day. We don't mind the rain. It's just rain, right? We can go splash in muddy puddles in a little while if you want to. You want to? Mm. Yeah, I want to. All right, guys. Thanks for chopping. I guess no. Thanks, thanks for jumping on and seeing what we're talking yeah. about. Lola said yes. It might be fun. Maybe when okay. it slows down a little tiny bit. All right, guys. Thanks for hopping on. Mommy, there's going to be a really big, I appreciate y'all so big, much. Big, big, we're going to have a big, big, giant chunk of water by the street. What? You think so? I hope not. I hope, yeah. What did we see in that water earlier? If you're not watching our Instagram story, we saw not just worms. the picture, the story part, but we then the Facebook one. We, we got saw some funny worms. stories on there. We, we found some worms. We did. Large worms. Really large. And a little bit one. Mm-hmm. I guess like <laughs> Bye guys. I like, I like this baby.